Crowds beware, it's Mustang Month in Forza Motorsport. Believe it or not, this game is now more than a year old. This is update 13, um, which is a perfect number update to come back and check it out again. I've not actually played this game since update 11 released. So there are three RTR Mustangs for drifting enthusiasts that we can all just go and buy straight away now that the update is live. This one apparently belongs to James Dean, which is interesting because I thought he was an actor. And it's also quite impressive because I'm, I'm pretty sure he, he's dead. Um, this one apparently belongs to somebody called Chelsea somebody or other, whoever she is, and then there's this other one. They are all essentially the same, I think, although this one's slightly more powerful than the other two. That's not all for new Mustangs, though. Over in the campaign, there is an opportunity to win this Celine-tuned Mustang, which is brand new to Forza. It's not been in a game previously. And, well, as I don't find the campaign races terribly interesting in this game, I probably won't be unlocking it in here. So, well, hopefully it will come across to Horizon in the not-too-distant future if it's here. There is also uh, another car being added to the Forza Motorsport Car Pass, the 2024 Ford Mustang Dark Haunts. And there is another prize car, Mustang, for completing the new Open Class Tour as well, but just like the other one, I probably won't end up winning that. And again, for those going sideways enthusiasts amongst you, there are four new Formula Drift cars here in the showroom, which aren't new, they come over from Horizon. There is also a new track, this one, Sunset Peninsula, um, which has five layouts, a full circuit, uh, a club circuit, an oval circuit, a reverse full circuit, and a reverse club circuit. Um, but yeah, this is essentially apparently like a license-free version of Daytona that they used to have in the old Forza games. So now that we have Daytona, I'm not quite sure why they felt the need to add this, but apparently it's popular amongst long-term fans of the Forza Motorsport series. Can't say I was really playing it back then. I was on the Gran Turismo side of the <laughs> of the argument. Um, but but yeah, this is what it looks like. And well, unlike anything else in this game, this circuit has in fact been built from the ground up. Um, it's all completely new and completely different to how it was, apparently. This infield track is actually kind of cool. <laughs> you may be wondering why they've added so many RTR sideways-going Mustangs and Formula Drift vehicles, and that's because they finally implemented a brand new drift mode. So, let's see what this brand new drift mode is like. It it seems almost indistinguishable from the drift mode that was in Forza Motorsport 7, somehow. What coincidence that this brand new built from the ground up feature is so similar to how it was in the previous game. and I'm still equally terrible at it. Do I get bonus points for it? That was a bit more than a wall tap. I mean, yeah, I'm I'm not really one for drifting or drag racing, um, but yeah, it's taken them far too long to add drifting, and they really do need to get round to putting drag racing back into this game, because... Just because it's been in so many previous Forza Motorsports, you can't really... Anyway, they're gradually reintroducing features to this game, at least. It's just... a year too late. Okay, that's going a little bit better. Never mind. With the new update, there are, of course, also some new featured multiplayer events. Although, um, after this Spotlight series finishes, um, there will no longer be a Spotlight series going forwards. 
Um, but these are some of the events in the featured multiplayer. Then we of course have the spec events, um, which are pretty similar to how they usually are, and the open class events. There are of course also some new featured rivals events, um, but I think these are the previous ones that are just ending. And over in private multiplayer, you can now set practice and qualifying sessions. And as with almost every previous update, there is a ridiculously long list of bug fixes and improvements, including um, updated car audio for three vehicles that were apparently particularly bad. Not sure how they managed to make them so bad, um, but apparently they're going to keep introducing audio improvements going forwards. So the first car they've fixed audio on apparently is the Pagani Waira R, which was a prize car that I don't think you can obtain any longer. The second car was this, the Chevrolet Number no. 3 Corvette Racing C7R. No idea what it sounded like before, but this is what it sounds like now. And the third car they fixed the audio on is this 2001 Acura Integra Type R. Just like the other two though, I have no idea what it sounded like before. They have also added a brand new feature to the livery editor. If we go on, well, apply vinyl shapes and go all the way across to letters, you can see we can press X to enter text. So yes, this is a brand new feature that's um, been in Horizon for several years. Anyway, I think we should write something. Perfect. And that is going to be all for a very first look at update 13 here on Forza Motorsport. Now that this game is in fact more than a year old, it is beginning to get there. Yes, it's still very broken, still has a lot of glitches in it, still has a lot less content than the previous game and still is a bit of a disaster. But they have finally implemented a drift mode and added a whole load of Formula Drift cars, which is fantastic if you enjoy going sideways. Personally, I'm not terribly interested in any of that. Um, but there are some cool new cars. Um, the only one that I'm really interested in, though, is that Celine one, which unfortunately is a prize for some campaign mode races, which I'm probably not going to do. So hopefully that will come over to the much better Forza Horizon 5 um, very soon, and we can actually, well, enjoy a, a new vehicle. But we'll wait and see. This game's definitely improved a lot since it launched a year ago, but yeah, I still don't think it, it, it's quite there. Um, I haven't played it for a while though, so it's kind of nice to come back and, well, I'll probably end up coming and checking it out in another update or two's time. Um, as ever though, do let me know your thoughts on Forza Motorsport, whether you've still stuck with it, whether you've gone away from it and maybe not returned for a bit, or whether you've just avoided it entirely. Um, for now though, that is going to be all, so thank you very much for watching and I will be back with the next one very soon. Mm -hmm.